What's going on world? Brand new episode of I Collect there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm with what I call the silent assassin of the sneaker game in the NBA, Langston Galloway. What's going on, man? What's going on, bro? How you doing? I feel like you're the most underrated sneaker head in the NBA. I'm trying to right? tell him. I'm trying to tell him. <laughs> so what are we going to see today? This is my Baton Rouge collection back home. We got a lot of heat to show, and yeah. uh, hey, I want everybody to be known that, hey, I'm, I'm here. Literally break down all my wall. So going from one to 23 with all my Jordans. Then I tried to mix it up. Tried to go from like pennies to Air Max to LeBrons to Kobe's, KD's. About how many do you think are in the the Baton Rouge collection? It's probably like 600 to 700 pairs in wow. here right now. It's a lot. It's a lot in here. So let's start actually in the middle. You got to bring the heat out first. Okay. We got the Georgetowns. Yeah, that's Georgetown threes. One of my favorite schools growing up. Got the Pharrells. Wow. Tough pair I picked up during All Star weekend. Got the Thera Guns. Another tough one. I go to the Lil Wayne versus Drake's. Huge pickup. One of my boys hooked me up in Miami. Why you keep showing us? Where do you usually shop? Any city we go to, you know, I go and, and try to pick up whatever's out there or just, just go check out the stores. I mean, especially with Detroit, every city you could think of. So mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. This is what started my whole collection right here. The he Got Games, Jesus Shuttleworth slash yeah. Ray Allen, you know, and, <laughs> and then having Denzel going at this movie. It was dope. What was it like seeing Ray Allen in that movie and then you actually playing against him? It was crazy. Just like seeing his work ethic. That, that was the yeah. biggest thing. Like you see him like get there early before the games. And then like during the games, like he always locked in. This another crazy pickup I, I picked Ooh, up. Lightness. Yeah, the All-Star game, Jordans, 17s. I got these signed by Kobe. Well, this one with the Knicks. I said, Kobe, man, you got to sign these for me, and he signed them for me, so it was cool. Is that one of your favorite players growing up? Uh, One, one of my favorite players, like him, Allen Iverson. I mean, I had so many yeah. favorites. Miros, yeah, I had to scoop these up. They got everything with it. I'll make sure I come with it. I'll make sure I'm gonna come with the heat for y'all, man. Show me five shoes in here in this middle section that you feel were the hardest to come by. Oh, and man. Stewie Griffins. I still got these wrapped up, these bad boys. Now, how did you come across those? Man, one of my guys, he posted them online. I hit him up, I was like, hey, man, what, what you doing with those? And he was like, man, uh, I'm just holding on to these. This is just a part of my collection. And I was like, what would it take to get you up off those? And he was like, man, look, I loved you as a Nick. I give you this price. And I was like, all right, cool. The only thing was that they have an auction in New York and this and that. So, so make sure you come to the auction and, and really like just see our whole collection. So it's cool. Figure out what these oh, might be man. in the box. Peach ones. They didn't come on big sizes, but I just happened to find these online. And I was like, man, I got to grab those. One of my guys online on eBay, he, he actually hooked me up with this pair. I haven't seen this colorway, but I was just like, it was a dope color because I, I know I can rock it in, in Detroit. Mm -hmm. But until I signed with Q4 and the Oilers, I, mean, I had to pick these up. I might not rock them on the court, you know what I mean? But I got them in my collection <laughs> though. As y'all could see by the box, you know, something's going to be in there. <laughs> oh man. Pull out the PlayStations on y'all, man. Yeah. I know they came out with the new ones as of lately. Pat another on there, it's crazy. I've seen a lot of different college PEs in here. Yeah, yeah. Let's see some of those. We got the Marquettes right here. One of the coaches I know over there. Mm -hmm. I had to represent him. D. Killings. Got the Oregon 14s. These were mm -hmm. actually hard to come by because just the material. One of my guys was telling me sometimes the material kind of fades, but I was like, I had to pick them up though. One of my guys out in Portland, my man Scott, he hooked me up with these Kentuckys. That's one of the most coveted shoes. Yeah, yeah, my guy, he, he gave me a real good price for these. Uh, I appreciate my man Scott, appreciate you, bro. Got the Oregon States. My man Emo, he gonna be upset because I got these. <laughs> Oregon Fours, another tough one to get. Both the Threes. Yeah. Both the Oregon Threes. Two classics, there. Two classics right here, yeah. Got the Michigan Twelves. As y'all know, I'm in Detroit. <laughs> so I had to represent. Got the Michigan 12s, Michigan 3s, got the Marquettes, Marquette 4s, got the Georgetowns. Now, if you could create a St. Joe's shoe, what would that silhouette be? What would it look like? Kobe has like a similar shoe. Had to go with the maroon, like almost like a matte gray. And then you got to throw a little black in there. That, that'd be dope. I would go 3s, even though 13s are my favorite, but yeah. the 3s, I got to go with the 3s. The St. Joe's 3. LeBron wise. Mm -hmm. Is that one of your favorite lines? Yeah, I remember as a kid growing up, I hooped the knees and everybody thought, man, why are you wearing boots on the court, man? <laughs> and I was yeah, like, yeah. 
those are crazy, you know, Zoom generations. And then they came out with these, I think All Star, maybe like two years ago, three years ago. Mm -hmm. So, Big Apples. Being in New York, it was definitely a special time for me. I had to get this pair right here. Give me some of your favorite sneaker cities. I probably would say LA, probably be one. Gotta say New York. New York's another, another big stop. You know what's underrated is Memphis. When I was with Nike, they have the employee store yeah, there. Yeah, right, right, right. So, yeah, you got Memphis and Oregon, both of them. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned your own deal earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did that come about? So, with Q4, so that's my shoe brand that I'm with now. The deal we worked out was off the court, I could wear wherever I want, and on the court, I'm wearing Q4. Fours. It's cool that, like, I mean, I got to have full on time me to put whatever I want on my shoe. For Black History Month, you know, I'm big with Black History Month. I mean, hey, I'm named after a poet, Langston Hughes. Yeah. So yeah. you see LG9 right there in the tongue. Mr. Undrafted in there. Be able to show off Baton Rouge, where I'm from. Put my Bible verse on the back, Hebrews 12, 11. It's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Cool. I'm excited. Just like this is year one, but uh, I mean, going on year two, it's, it's going to be crazy. I'm just excited to just be an undrafted guy and to be able to really like show what hey, all the, the dedication, all the passion, all everything I've put into it and be able to show it off on the court and, and, and into my shoe, it's gonna be dope. Let's kind of go to this this back wall here. I can tell you're a big Jordan fan, but uh -uh. I see a lot of Yeezys back here. I'm a big like Kanye fan, especially of his shoes. I'm not gonna say lyrics and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but he came out with some crazy stuff. Yeezy ones, I remember just grabbing all the, all the colorways. Uh, grabbing these, these was dope. Red October's was crazy. Solo was crazy. Adidas, mm. when he first came out, they had so many different colorways. Got some plugs on the inside that got some different kicks. Big MX guy. Some of the stuff when I was when I was younger, when I saw, like I just wanted to collect, but I, I couldn't afford it at the time. I know everybody's been talking about the pairs, the old school pair from back in the day. I remember seeing these in New York, Clark Kent's. Mm. It's a far one right there. Everybody talked about like shaving the top of it, but I, you know, I kept it, kept yeah. it original. And I mean, right below you, right there, I'm seeing something that's, that's definitely not your size. I had to make sure my, my little man is laced already. He got, he got some heat. He got the Charles Barkley right here. He already got the Sean Whispers. Had to get the old school box, you know, yeah. Jordans. And this is a Pistons colorway. Had to get these for him. <laughs> but they had pennies right there, and they had to get him some. I had to keep them fresh, you know, yeah. down here in the South, Classic. you know, it's all yeah. about all my <laughs> classics, you know. Speaking of down here in the South, Louisiana sneaker scene, what is it about? This is about being different. Most people, they eat on the Bally's or they're on the G Nights. But as of lately, I mean, we've been moving all over, man. They do love the G Nights, you know, we got to keep them fresh. I think we had like, a couple collabs. Spitter came out with one. I know he came out with the new box, so. That was dope to see him come out with something. I gotta give a shout out to my guys over at Sneaker Politics. They always making sure they take care of me when I come back home. So, appreciate you, Sneaker Politics. All right, Langston, you've been modest this whole time, man. You got more stuff than, than you showing us in here. So, before we close, I just want you to go on a, on a rampage. Just a, just a quick, rapid rampage on it. Last but not least, my boy hooked me with these. Something crazy. That's how you feel, huh? That's how I feel. <laughs>